you know, I am Dr. Manuel Torres, the founder of Fabrican and the managing director of Fabrican Limited. What's Fabrican? Fabrican is the inventor of the spray on fabric. And today, I am here to tell you about my journey. It could be any old haute couture fashion show, but these one-of-a-kind designer dresses started as a liquid and came from a can. Liquid fabric is a suspension of polymers plus additives and fibers. It's a new technology called Fabricam, mixing tiny natural and synthetic fibers with liquid polymers inside an aerosol can. It turns into a non-woven fabric and goes on like a second skin. The spray on fabric, when it gets in contact with the air, it solidifies into this instant non-woven material. It starts as pure chemistry, but in the hands of a designer, transforms into art. The dream for me will be to be able to see the, the spray on fabric used on the medical wall, in the automotive industry, in the fashion industry. It will be so fantastic. How did it all begin? And I will tell you now. Then basically, I am originally from Barcelona, Spanish. I started my course, BA course, studying fashion design in La Escuela de Artes y Técnicas de la Moda. From there, I just find myself that it would be so fantastic if I could go to study on a much higher level fashion to do a master degree. Basically, what I did is find out what will be one of the best schools very recognized in, in design. And I found that in London, Royal College of Art will be the right place to go. However, at the times, I didn't speak no word of English. So anyway, I sent my portfolio to London at the Royal College. And luckily, that day, they called me, which I had a friend having lunch with me in Barcelona in my flat. And my friend said, you know, it's like, I think, well, I asked her to, to, to get the phone because I could not understand. And they said, Manel, I think you have an interview in London. <laughs> and I said, oh, oh, that's, that, that's cool. I have to go. <coughs> then basically what I did is get my flight, go to Barcelona. I remember very well, it was the 14th of February. And when I was arriving, it was a, a delay on the flight. I was arriving in, in London. And in Barcelona, just uh, two weeks ago, I win an Smirnov Award of a fashion competition. And one of the models was there. And this model said, Manel, what are you doing here? I said, well, I'm just going for an interview at the Royal College of Art. And she said, why don't come with you and I can be your translator? Well, fantastic. <laughs> then I, I, we both arrived at the Royal College of Art and I could not understand a thing. And, and we were like, there was five professors asking me many questions. And she was translating and explaining to them that was nothing planned, that we meet up on the aeroplane. And they said, well, if you are so convinced that you don't know the language and you are so clear that you want to come and do a master with us, we will give you the chance. So the deal will be, now is February, you will start in September, you have all these six months for you to learn English. And that's what I did. Well, my English was not, I will say, it was not perfect, but it was perfect enough to convince them. I think they saw me that day that I didn't speak a word, and then the following day, to be, well, after six months, to be able to say a few things, I think that was convincing for them. Then everything started there. Then I was these two years doing that master. And as a fashion designer, I find myself that the whole process is very long. If there is fa fashion designers here in the audience, they will understand me. You know, we have the idea, and then this idea, you know, it's like basically you need to do the patterns, you need to find the fabrics and then fit it, and, and, and the process is very, is very long. So I thought it would be so fantastic if I could create something that will be able to, to do all these things, which is very long process. Then what I did is um, I went to a wedding in Barcelona again, and one of my friends, she was getting married, and do you know this product, Sealy String? 
which basically you spray the material and it has a cord. And basically that cord, what it does, it, it creates, you know, it's like, well, basically we have that image, which is, that's the whole silly string. And what happens that when I saw that this, that this, from this aerosol could come that core, then I thought myself, well, you know, why not I could create a miss? And that could make me an instant non-woven material fabric that could dry instantly. And then that was the eureka moment, which I thought, okay, that's what I should pursue and do. Then, you know, it's like I, I look at nature and spider webs, basically, that's what they do, spiders. They create these co-webs instantly and they're very strong and robust. Then what I found myself is that I needed scientific knowledge, which I didn't have. Luckily, the Royal College of Art is very well located, which is next to Imperial College London, which is a good place for scientific research. I just went to Imperial College and I said to them, well, look, I have this idea. I would like to create instant t-shirts. I would like to create fabrics from an aerosol can. They were fascinated with my idea, but I don't think they thought that I will make it happen. Very quickly, they put me in the lab, they give me materials they suggested, and I started to play with them. And then after two years, I managed to get some results, and everything began from there. Then what we created was this First of all, I, I must say, this is not the first fabric that they created. The first one, I was dressing models and, and the fabrics were, were falling apart, you know. But I didn't, I didn't, that, that was for me, is like thinking, well, I will not give up. I will carry on. And here we have a material that, as you, could, you saw earlier, it is a stretchy. It feels very much like suede. If you're familiar with suede, that's how this material feels. It could be made of... Um, synthetic materials such as polyester, polypropylene, name it, or natural fi fabrics, uh, natural fibers such as cotton, linen, wool. Also, where, where we discover is that you could create different textures. Textures such as a fleece effect, other textures like more acrylic, like paper-like, some other ones more like rubbery resistant, even some other ones see-through, lace, as well as things that could be totally waterproof. Also, we can mimic existing fabrics, such as, for example, lace. Also, another good thing is that can be very good to be able to do 3D moldings very quickly. You can just spray the material, peel it off, and you get this 3D effect. And we have also different ways of delivering this technology. We could do it on a big scale with jets, also with the spray guns, as well as aerosols for a more a customized application, or even these portable sprays, which they contain 22 liters of material. Again, you know, it's like how I would like to implement this material into the fashion industry. I'm thinking that would be ideal if we could have all these different booths, yeah? So that, you know, it's like you go there, you almost have programs with what you can choose your design, whatever you like, and then you just get inside, you're, you're getting print the whole outfit, and you're ready to go. I would like to just throw you guys how many of you would like to try to be dressed with the spray on fabric? Can I see some raising hands? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy. I think I should carry on and make it happen. You know, it's not yet available, but that's what is my aim and my dream, thinking how, you know, it's like now how I can make the next step to bring it to the market. But Fabrican not only is working in fashion, that's the thing, it's like, you know, uh, everything began from fashion, but now from fashion, we're working on other applications which I never thought of. Another application which it fascinates me is the medical. The medical, one of the things that we're working currently now is on something that we all experience that maybe 
once in our life, better you don't experience, like to break an arm or leg, which it needs to have a cast. So these days, you know, we have plaster parties, we have lots of the technologies, but you need to be very skilled to fit it. I'm proposing something different. I'm proposing to have an instant cast that everyone can apply it. And here you have a working prototype. One of the main characteristics of being able to have a liquid fabric contained in an aerosol is that makes this material totally sterilized so that you have great advantages to be able to be a wound dressing, also an, an instant bandage. Another big element is that it, you can add nanotechnology, even drugs, medicines, to be able to have an instant patch, as example, a nicotine patch. It sets very much in four minutes. In four minutes you have from a very soft material on something that is totally hard. Another application is the automotive industry, which basically, again, we're very interested on the interiors, on, 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 on the interiors of the cars. How about spring a new chair into existence? The, be able to use the, the specific material of a cast to be able to create furniture, or speaking with interior designers, even on a light, you know, the, to, to be able to have a hard light. And again, the material is totally uh, non-flammable. As you know, in this industry, the automotive industry is all about speed and cost and timing. So, you know, it's like one of the most difficult parts to make is the, is the seats. So what we created is, I just show this process of, you know, that we spray the material into this heated tool and then the material bonds with the foam which is for and that you know is, is something that today they're doing it manually and i'm proposing for the automotive industry which they have great interest on these applications to to have an an, an in, in industrial uh, process you know the another fascinating application which it happened since the disaster of the Gulf of Mexico, which oil companies contacted me and said, Manel, you are spraying fabric. Could you spray this material on water? Would this material be floating on salty water? Would this material absorb oil? And I went to the lab and tested it all, and it's all fine. So I started to learn what we could do for them. And basically, what we could do, we could spray this fabric from either from air or from different, uh, or from a boat. But for example, here the problem is like we have a ship that has sunk and is in a dangerous area. And what we want to do basically is contain this spill. And usually these things happen when there is very bad weather. And here is like we have the spill contained, you could remove it from the dangerous area. And then you'd always, you could have some basically um, visible fibers, you know, it's like that, that could be, um, you know, pro providing, you know, it's like visibility. So they are fluorescent fibers so that other boats will not, um, you know, drive into it. And then, you know, another way that we see the beauty of this technology is that as soon as the, 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 the oil boom is contained, you know, you will be able to collect it, then basically dissolve it so that basically we could have three, three phases. One will be the oil so that you can recover the oil. You can recover the solvent, yeah? And also you can recover the fabric so that the material can be re-spray again. And basically, that's 
for you to know a little bit of the insight of Fabrican, some of the projects that we're doing. I'm, I'm sharing with you three of the projects. And you know a little bit about me. Thank you very much. <laughs>